go-kart racing is all about adrenaline, excitement, and strategy. But there's one key element that could be the difference between victory and defeat. Gear ratios. It's like a mystery. Choose the wrong one and it could leave your cart struggling on straights or crawling out of corners. That's a frustrating position to be in, right? The intrigue lies in understanding the unique characteristics of your cart and race conditions. Now imagine nailing that perfect gear ratio. That's the moment when your cart leaps into life, providing that perfect blend of acceleration and top speed, making every corner and straight a joy to tackle. This video is your guide to that achievement. It breaks down the complexities of go-kart gear ratios and gives you the knowledge to find that sweet spot tailored to your specific needs. What exactly are the best go-kart gear ratios? The ideal go-kart gear ratios are influenced by factors such as track layout, cart and driver weight, and desired top speed. Although there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, a frequently recommended ratio is 6.1, suitable for many tracks, offering a balance between top speed and acceleration. More daring ratios such as 4-1 or 5-1 can offer greater acceleration, which is beneficial on courses with many corners. Ultimately, the best gear ratio requires tuning and personalization to match specific go-kart characteristics and racing conditions. In a nutshell, gear ratios relate to the relationship between the number of teeth on two gears that are meshed. In go-karts, this is typically the relationship between the engine or clutch sprocket and the rear axle sprocket. Selecting the best gear ratios isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. Factors like the specific track you are racing on, your desired acceleration, and top speed all play a critical role. Understanding how different elements of the go-kart affect the optimal gear ratio can help in finding the perfect balance for your needs. The size of the tires plays a role in determining the ideal gear ratio. Larger tires may require a different gear ratio compared to smaller ones due to the variation in surface contact and rotation speed. The weight of the cart and the driver also influence the gear ratio. Heavier carts and drivers might need higher gear ratios for better acceleration. The type of transmission system, whether it's a clutch or a torque converter, can also affect the ideal gear ratio. Clutches generally work best with higher gear ratios. However, sometimes you might face issues like go-kart clutch smoking. In contrast, torque converters may require a lower ratio for optimal performance. A commonly mentioned gear ratio is 6-1. This ratio tends to provide a good balance, allowing enough top speed on long straights while maintaining decent acceleration around tight corners. For the more adventurous, you could consider a daring 4-1 or 5.1 ratio. These ratios offer more acceleration, providing an edge in races that have more corners than straights. Calculating your go-kart's gear ratio is simple. Divide the number of teeth on the rear axle sprocket by the number of teeth on the clutch or engine sprocket. Suppose you're running 10-5 rear go-kart slicks with an ungoverned four-stroke for track and race purposes with a 12T number 35 clutch. You should multiply 12, the number of teeth on the clutch, by 4.5, the ideal ratio, to get a 54T rear sprocket. To determine the necessary gear ratio for your go-kart, you need to consider your top speed limit. For instance, if you're contemplating about whether you can drive electric go-karts on the road, the speed limit would be an important consideration. The quest for the perfect go-kart gear ratio is a blend of science, experience, and a nuanced understanding of your kart's unique traits and the conditions of the track. While many buzz around the 6-1 gear ratio, lauding its balance between top speed for the straights and the required acceleration out of corners, it's essential to understand that it isn't a universal solution. It's the starting point from where you fine-tune. The ideal ratio is influenced by factors like the tyre size, cart and driver weight, and the type of transmission system. There's an art to modifying gear ratios, and it should be carried out safely and incrementally. All these elements add up to create the unique gear ratio that turns every round of your go-karting into a thrilling, optimised experience.